Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today there are several citywide yard sales in my area, so I'm going to go around today and see what I can find to sell in my booth, Green and in Vintage. Okay, I'm driving through a pretty nice neighborhood right now, and there are a bunch of yard sale signs up, so I'm feeling good about this. Hoping to find something really good soon. Okay, so despite there being a ton of yard sales today, I feel like I just got too late of a start and the weather is just getting worse and worse. It's not bad out, it's just really cold and windy and it just keeps getting colder. I see that people are packing up a little bit earlier than intended. So I'm gonna wrap it up for yard sale unless I just see something on the way home randomly. But I'm in the area of a new antique store called the Red Door Cottage. It's actually in the same location as a store that I used to go to, I'm blanking on the name though, Oh, the, I think it was called the Trendy Cottage, and I've showed it on my channel before, but now it's kind of changed ownership, and I believe that it's more of like a booth space now, where before it was like a combined effort from three or four women, um, but I loved the shop before, so I'm really excited to check out kind of how it's changed now, and maybe I'll find something to upcycle or sell in my booth for a little bit more, and when I get home, I'll show you guys everything that I buy today, but I'm going to walk you through this store with me now. I had so much fun looking through the Red Door Cottage. Can you guys believe some of the prices that you're seeing? I almost passed out when I saw $3 on that 
crockery with the blue stripe on it because I collect those so I'm always looking for those and I could not believe I got it for such a good price so I almost immediately started just a little pile behind the counter of things I wanted to purchase um, overall I feel like there's more inventory to come for sure it felt a little empty in the store but they have only been open three weeks so that is totally expected um, so I'm excited to just keep my eye on this place and keep coming back and hopefully finding some other good finds I really enjoyed all the different booth spaces and I love that they were offering some handmade goods um, and just things made by local crafters. I think that's such a good thing to encourage and other people is just like a little small side business, especially something that helps people feel artistic and also make a little side money. Uh, a little later on, I'm gonna show you their flyer for their open house they have coming up. It's actually a ribbon cutting ceremony on May 5th. So I'll have the exact times listed a little bit later when I show you that flyer. So if you are local to me, this is in Troy, Illinois. Again, it's called the Red Door Cottage. And so you should definitely try to make it to the ribbon cutting ceremony on May 5th. And I'm sure there's only good things to come for this store. This, they had such a good solid start already for only being open three weeks. I was really impressed and can't wait to bring you guys back here with me again soon. So these earrings are one of the other like handmade vendors that they have in the store. I like that they're just offering like sections of bookshelves for people because that makes the rent really affordable, but also allows people to get their brand and their product out there for more eyes to see. So um, I loved everything that this earring maker was making already. I think it's just like with little clay pieces. Um, I love the look of those. And then I show this little gingham pair at the end, which is so cute. I'll probably come back and get those, even though I have a similar pair that I got at an art fair um over the fall i think but i wear them all the time so i'd be happy to have another pair um so as far as like the other little handmade items there's someone who's selling tumblers um someone who's like hand knitting just these really beautiful pot holders and scarves which i'll show you here in a minute there's even like a local coffee roaster here someone making goat milk soap um just a whole variety of things there's even someone selling usborne books which if you're familiar with that it's just such a great brand of kids books so a really really great gift if you're looking for something in the area so i just wanted to point out those it's a little bit more than just a vintage shop here i love that they're featuring these little local businesses that are just making their arts known to the world and being creative sharing their skills with people and making a little money while they do it I thought this big basket had really good character. I was really tempted to buy that one. Um, but for $40, I feel like I have so many baskets already that I, I held off this time. But I was really interested to talk with the owner after filming this. And he said that there's potential that this back room right to the right here through that doorway could potentially be a consignment area for people who wanna sell more furniture. So instead of paying rent to have a booth in this shop, you could just um, pay be paid on consignment, which is really interesting to me. It's not something I've done before, but it might give me a chance to have my name in another shop. I already have a booth space at my treasure house and then at Third Street Market in Greenville, Illinois. So that's a couple towns that my name's been kind of spread around to, but it might be nice to have a couple pieces in this shop as well in the future. So I'm def definitely gonna keep that option in mind and uh, chat with him about that later. The owner of the shop was so kind to me today and just filling me in on all of his business plans. And I was just so grateful to him for letting me film today because you know, it's always kind of weird when you have someone come in and say that they're on YouTube, but he was really gracious to let me kind of go through the store and show off everything that he's been working on.
Okay, before I move on with my day, I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything that I picked up at my yard sales today. Um, not a huge haul for you, but I got a few things that I think will be good for my antique booth. First up is just this little shelf with hooks. My baby is playing behind me, so he's gonna be a little noisy. Sorry about that. Um, I just immediately envisioned this in a nice bright green color um, just for summertime. I think it'll look really pretty. So I plan on painting that. It's gonna be kind of tedious to paint something like this, but I think that a nice fresh green color will modernize that a little bit. So I paid 50 cents for that. And then just another little hook. I really like this one. It's kind of like old brass doorknob looking. It's fake, of course. Um, and it has a little two hooks on the hooks on the bottom there. So I thought that was pretty cute though. And for 50 cents, I feel like I can make a profit on that in my booth if I don't end up keeping it and putting it somewhere in my house. I also grabbed this, which is so crazy because I literally just saw this on the internet yesterday and saw what it was online. I, somebody had like it filled with M&Ms. And so you can pull this out and it will like dispense something out the side, whatever you have in the jar. So I guess it has to be something little. What was it originally designed to do? I'm not sure. You guys can tell me that. I don't know. It'd be perfect for like marbles or something. Um, it looks almost handmade. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know the history on it, but it was only $2 as a regular size mason jar on the top. So I thought for $2, I'll be able to make a little bit of money on that for my in my booth. And then I thought these were kind of cute. They have like a little cabin scene on the front of them. Um, and it's just like a little set of these two enamel bowls. Um, and I only paid $3 for the pair. If they were much more than that, I probably would have passed on them. But I feel like for that price, there's definitely some room for me to make a little money on those. I also grabbed this really nice frame. Now this one isn't actually antique, but I love the rattan on the side of this. I might actually end up keeping this if I don't upcycle it. Um, it's just in such nice shape. So I might get a picture printed of my family and use this one because I really, really like the style of it and it's in great condition. And I paid $1 for this. And then just for my kids, I got a set of Magic Treehouse books. They were only 25 cents each, which is awesome because I've been eyeing these at Costco. Of course, it's like a big, huge box set, but I think it's over $50. So that was a really awesome deal for the first five books. And then I just grabbed myself this linen dress. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. Um, it has the buttons up the front and it's striped. Thought that was cute for two dollars and then that's actually everything from the yard sales okay and here's a look at everything that i ended up purchasing at the red door cottage i had such a good time shopping there and i cannot wait to go back so first up i grabbed this brown crockery, but it came with all of these wooden spoons for $12. So I thought that was a really good deal. And while I was driving in the car today, I actually had a good idea for these that is similar to a project I've done recently for Easter. And I'm really excited to transform these wooden spoons. So I think it's gonna be really cute. So I was feeling very inspired by this purchase. I thought $12 was such a good price. I don't collect the brown color, so I'll probably end up selling this in my booth, but I might actually sell it as a set once I'm done upcycling the spoons with the idea that I have in mind. I think it'll be really cool and really neat for my booth and something very profitable, hopefully. So that was my first purchase. I also showed you guys this earlier in the video of me walking through the store. So just some fake lavender, but I thought it looked really realistic, especially the flowers. This part, not quite so much, but I think I can sell that in my booth for a profit. I want to say I only paid $3. It took all the stickers off, so I can't exactly remember, but um, I showed you in the video. I think it was $3.99 or maybe $4.99, but even for five bucks, that's a really good deal for um, a really nice looking faux plant. You see the flowers there. And I got all of this mostly from the same booth, I think. Maybe the, I think that crockery was from a second booth, but most of the things were from the front booth. 
And I got this for a dollar, I want to say 25, which I thought was ridiculous. It was either a dollar 25 or dollar 75. Um, just for like this kind of vintage strawberry tin and everything else that I thrifted and sold in my booth this year has already sold. Like it sold really quickly. So anything with strawberries on it, especially this time of year, it's been really popular and I just love like the orange color of it. It's going to be hard for me to part with this, but I do need to sell the things that I'm buying. And I thought for one I'll definitely be able to make a profit on that. And as you know, I'm always looking for any blue striped crockery. This one doesn't have the Marshall imprint on the bottom, so I'm not sure that it's authentic. But for $3.50, I could not pass this up. I could not believe some of their prices there today. I do think it's missing its lid. It definitely has a lip here where a lid would sit really nicely. Um, but that's okay with me because I like to normally store things, either pencils or markers or paintbrushes in my crocs. So I don't really need a lid anyway. So that was a really great buy. I like the nice small size. I need to stop collecting so much of it, but couldn't pass that one up for $3. And this is totally not my style. I have a very hard rule of not buying anything with hearts on it, but I know I can get creative with a way to just like cover up the heart cutout in the top, but I like all the drawers on this. It's just a very small little wall shelf, probably for spices or something. So I definitely want to paint this and then add some kind of like little number stamp along the side or just something kind of creative to make this look rustic again. Um, but I think it had a lot of potential and I want to say I only paid around $5 for it. So I think that'll be just a fun little quick DIY project. And then last up, I got this really sweet hanging basket. It was hanging outside. So I actually had to go back inside and make a second transaction because I didn't see this until I was done. I love like the detail of the ropes on this though. I don't know, I just thought it was really nice it was in perfect condition and it was literally $4 outside. So overall, I'm really happy with all the prices at the Red Door Cottage. Of course, that's gonna vary by vendor because they are pricing their own items. So some vendors aren't gonna be quite as affordable as others, um, but that's just kind of how it is. And that's how thrifting goes. You never know what you're gonna get. And today I just had so much fun garage selling and antique shopping. It was a really good day for all of those things. So now I'm gonna style this for you guys and then I'll let you guys go. I love when I can go thrifting all day and buy random things and then come home and it actually looks like a nice cohesive little collection here um, that almost always works out. I just think I've finally kind of gotten good at just picking out exactly what I like and at the end of the day it kind of looks like a nice little collection just like this. So it's really exciting to see everything come together. I had some really good buys today which I can't always say for days that I go yard sailing but overall, it was a really successful, really cold April Saturday morning. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite piece that I thrifted today. And I really appreciate you spending some time with me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.